And did you know that it's so easy to plug your Blue Yeti microphone like this into your Sony ZV-E10 like this? Stay tuned and I'll show you just how easy it is. Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here. If you've got a new Sony ZV-E10 and you don't want to use the built-in microphone because, quite frankly, in a room like this, which can be quite echoey, it's not the best. So why not use a better sounding microphone like the Blue Yeti? If you prefer not to have to sync your audio in post, then this could be for you. This method will work with any external microphone which has a headphone jack and with any DSLR or mirrorless camera with a microphone jack. All you'll need to connect your Blue Yeti microphone to the Sony ZV-10 is of course the camera. Your microphone, a USB cable for the microphone, an audio aux mail-to-mail -mail cable and your computer, phone or tablet that you're going to connect the Blue Yeti to. Unfortunately, because the Blue Yeti needs a data connection, you aren't able to simply plug the Blue Yeti directly into power. First of all, connect the Blue Yeti to a data source. This purely gives the Blue Yeti something to transmit the sound to, but for this purpose, we're not going to record it on that device. As my iPad acts as a monitor for my ZV-10, I can plug the Blue Yeti into the iPad via the USB adapter, which in this one in particular, I can simultaneously charge the iPad as well, and not have the Blue Yeti primarily draw power from the iPad. Next, you want to plug one end of the aux cable into the 3.5mm headphone jack of the Blue Yeti and the other into the 3.5mm microphone jack of the ZV-E10. This allows the ZV-E10 to be the monitoring or listening device for the Blue Yeti. And you're all done. It's as simple as that. To adjust the microphone levels to your preference, go to the third page in the movie settings page on the camera, select audio record level and increase or decrease to your requirement and prevent any audio peaking. You may also need to adjust the gain and headphone volume levels on the Blue Yeti itself. I'm now going to swap the Sony zv 10 with the iPhone 13 Pro, which is currently recording this video to test the microphone. Now I'm using the zv 10 we can now compare the audio with the onboard microphone which sounds like this to the Blue Yeti external microphone plugged into the zv 10 via the aux cable with no latency at all which sounds like this. Just let me know in the comments below what you think and the differences between the two. I'll leave a link to everything you need in the description below. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.